come. In this video, I will add a layer to a leaflet map within an R Shiny app and allow the user the ability to toggle on and off that layer. This is what we will create. We will add a rough estimate of harbour areas and then provide a toggle button to allow the user to turn the layers on and off. In our studio, I will begin by setting up a new Shiny app. So I go to File, New File, Shiny Web App. I will call my app Harbour because it's Harbour Areas we're putting on and click Create. First thing I always like to do is check that the app works, so click the Run App button. And there we have our default app. We can now go ahead and delete the information from this app, which we don't require. So close my app. Up at the top, I will delete out all the stuff that I don't need and put in a description saying what we will be doing with this app, which is add harbour boundary area to map. Above Library Shiny, I like to put in comments, which in this section, we're going to add our packages. The UI, the output for the application, is no longer going to draw a histogram, so I will remove that. I'll leave a title to the page and just call this Harbour Boundaries. I no longer need a sidebar, so I will delete this section out. And we are now going to show a map. And we will delete the plot output. We will no longer do that. As we remove the side panel, we've got an extra closing bracket, which I shall remove. We still need our service logic, so but we can delete the histogram reference. And then we can remove everything else between this opening bracket and this closing bracket. Okay, let's check that the app still works. Looking good, it just has a title. Let's close our app. We can now go ahead and add our map to our app. And to do that, we are going to use the leaflet package for the app. Now, I already have leaflet installed on my computer. But if you didn't, all you would need to do is go to Packages, click Install, and into the Packages, just type Leaflet, and then press the Install button. So back in the Add Packages section, let's type in Library, bracket, Leaflet, to call the Leaflet package. In the Main Panel section, we can now tell it that we want to output a Leaflet map. So we put in leaflet output, open brackets, open double quote marks, and in between the quote marks, we need to give our map a name. I'm just going to call my map harbour. So going forward, every time I use the word harbour, I'm referring to the map. Now that we have told the application that we want to show a map, we now need to actually create the map. So inside the server area, I type output dollar sign, then the name of our map that we want to output, which is harbour. Then we want to feed in a render of a leaflet map. So render leaflet. Then we do opening brackets and then opening curly brackets. And in between these two curly brackets, I'm going to insert a few empty rows just to make our code more readable. Put in the name of our map, which is Harbour. And we say we're going to feed into Harbour leaflet. So we type in leaflet with an open and closing bracket. Onto our map Harbour, we also need to feed in tiles. So we type in add tiles 
open brackets and we're adding tiles onto the map. So we need to put in the name of our map, which is Harbour. In this project, I am going to be focusing on a couple of harbour areas in the northeast of Scotland in the UK. And when the map loads, I want the map to focus on one of these harbour areas rather than providing a view of the whole world. So to do that, I'm going to set the view and provide the coordinates roughly of one of the harbours. So I'm going to type in harbour, the name of our map, and we're going to set the view, open brackets of harbour, the name of our map again, and then we're going to put in LNG for longitude and say that equals, in our case, it's minus 2.096 comma, then we need to give the latitude, so it's LAT equals, and the latitude I will use is 57.176. And when we set a view, we also have to set what's called a zoom. So the zoom in will be zoom equals nine. I will include more information on the leaflet package, which includes information on zoom in this video's description. Let's now see what happens when we run our app. There we go, we have a map. Looking good, so if I close my map. As the map that was shown was quite small, I'd like to make it a bit bigger. And to do that, I go back up into main panel and after harbour, I put a comma. Then I will change the width of the map to equals, single quote marks, and I will make mine 800 pixels come outside my quote marks, put a comma, and then for the height, I will say equals, single quote marks, and we're going to have 600 pixels for the height. You will see the next time we run the app that we now have a larger map to display our boundaries on. I will now return to the server logic section, and in here, we will set up the boundary areas of our harbours. Now, as we are just going to do a very rough boundary area, this is not specific at all, it's just a demonstration, I will add a rectangle to the map to indicate the harbour boundary. So, back in server logic, onto harbour, we're going to add our rectangles. So harbour and then feed in, add rectangles. We need to add them to the map harbour, so we type in harbour again. And then to draw the rectangle, we don't need to put in all four corners of the rectangle. We just need to give the coordinates of one corner and then the coordinates of the diagonally opposite corner. And then the program will draw the rectangle for us. So our first longitude point is LNG1 and it's going to equal minus 2.096 comma and then our latitude one lat1 is going to equal 57.176 comma then the longitude of our second point lng2 equals and for this one i will use minus 1.978 comma and and the latitude of the second point is LAT2 equals 57.101. Now, if we run our app, we should see a rectangle next to Aberdeen Harbour. Looks good. Personally, I prefer the weight of the outline of the rectangle to be slightly thinner. So I will correct that next. So if we close down our app, and after latitude 2, I just put in comma, weight equals 1. And that will give me a thinner line. Now that we have the rectangle, we want to give the user the ability to toggle that boundary on or off on the map. So to do that, we again into harbour. We're going to feed in, add layer controls. And into layer controls, we need to put the harbour, our map again. Then we type overlay groups. And I am going to call my overlay group boundary. 
because that is what the blair effectively will relate to. It's the boundaries of the harbours. But we're not finished yet. We now need to attach boundary to our Aberdeen rectangle. So to do that, we go into the row above where we've got add rectangles. We put another comma and then we say group equals double quote marks and put in boundary. Now if we run app, we have a map. And if you go up to here, you've got the ability to toggle boundary on or off. So that is essentially how you can allow a user to add and remove a layer from a map. I'm going to close my app. I'm going to continue on and add a few more bits to the map. I'm going to add a second harbour area and I also will adjust the layer controls. So to begin with, I'll add the harbour area for Peterhead, which is just up the coast from Aberdeen. I will add a new rectangle. So to do that, I am above add layer controls. I am going to copy the row that I've got for add rectangles. So control C, paste it in, control V. And this time my longitude one is going to be minus 1.795. My latitude one is going to be 57.512. My longitude 2 is going to be minus 1.735 and my latitude 2 is going to be 57.472. We still want to have a weight of 1 for my boundary box and we also want to add it to our layer. So therefore group equals boundary remains. The other small adjustment I'm going to make is down in the add layers controls. So after boundary, I'm going to put a comma and then say options equals and then layers controls options. Select that one. And in between the brackets, I write collapsed equals false. Previously, we had to click on the layer symbol before we could see the boundary option. By adding in the collapsed equals false means that we no longer will see the layer symbol. We'll just see boundary on the page with the option to toggle on and off. As you will see if I just click run app. So I now have two areas on my map. I have Peterhead up here in the north and then Aberdeen here slightly further south of Peterhead. I have the boundary box at the side and if I untick that box, the boundaries disappear and if I click the box again, the boundaries reappear. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.